and putting a blind eye to Yemen and 10 million people dying with no food, then there's no peace. There's going to be there's going to be hypocrisy because no one's talking about and it. Iraq and Libya and, and all the countries. Yes, all the countries. Vengeance. Yeah, all the countries. Yes, you're right, brother. But what? But the reason I'm talking about Yemen now is because it's getting serious now. Yesterday, a food uh, uh, food bank was hit, and the people they got no food now, and the world is just thinking about their bellies and the. Come on, that's what that's that's one one way. So what's happening in Yemen is unexcep unex unexcusable, yes. and it is not acceptable. But the question is yeah. not the pe how you get the peace by getting rid of the terrorists. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just some, yeah. You are just so close, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because you said something it's made me laugh. Yeah. Go on. yeah. So um, that's not how you get the peace. If you think about it, what Saudi is doing to the people from other nations, it has lots of to do, lots of to do with their theology. And you, you said you need to get rid of the terrorists. What is your definition for the terrorists? If you think taking the life of other people is a terrorism or not? Uh, basically... What is, your, what is your belief, sir? Basically, my belief here yeah, is that what is happening now is that the world is turning a blind eye and using hypocrisy and using only this word terrorism when they feel like it, it suits them. But they're not being honest people to God. Because God says, don't support evil people. What does Donald Trump and his uh, government do? Support evil people in the Middle East. God said, help the oppressed. Why is the oppressed now? Why is the oppressed now not getting any help? Are you Muslim, sir? Me Muslim, yeah, alhamdulillah. Okay. So let me just respond to them. <laughs> yeah. But also, uh, yeah, also what I wanted to say, yeah. So let me let me just finish what uh, what I'm going to step in and then continue. Okay. Oh, to the questions now, Before she starts, a man came from the desert to the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and he said, I came from a faraway place. Can you give me advice? And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you came from a faraway place, I'll give you one advice. Keep this advice till you die. He said, what is it? He said, and an atom of, do, of good, you shall see it in the next life. And an atom of bad, you shall see it in the next life. So this is advice for all of us. An atom of good you do now, you will see it in the next life. This is the Quran. So we need to be collecting points, scoring as much points as possible. That's, that's, that's what we need to be doing. Good points, not bad points. Because the bad points add up as well. So, so remind me your name. My name is Mo. Ma. Yeah. Is that like short for Mohammed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll call you Mohammed. So, since since you brought up a couple of things Mohammed said, and then that was your message to your comrade, looks like your intention here is. It seems your intention here is. That's not is, my camera, sir. You have to address the people and say sorry, not your camera. But since your camera. intention here is but different. Uh, I love I love you to just explain. I would love you to just explain. I would love you to just explain the Muhammad's love towards jihad and also you were talking about the terrorism and I believe this book produced terrorism. I think this book supports the terrorism. Can you just please tell me what are you going to do with this book? وامو جميل عدوة الله يلا يا الله الاسكار في امو يا رابي في نو الله الاسكار سوري نو شي اوكي سو شي انسر شي اس ذا كويستشن انا ام غونا انسر هير كويستشن اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذا هولي قران ويتش وي كيس اند وي ريسبكت ذس ميراكل which ha which has been protected for 1,400 years. Easy women. <laughs> Don't cut him off. Easy women. Them. Okay, so this holy book, it talks about justice. It talks about peace, unity, love, treating the people of the book with respect, treating the people as humans with respect and love and mercy. However, the terror, the when the Quran talks about talks against killing it talks against the pedophiles it says you should kill the pedophiles corruption you should kill corruption you should kill people like hitler saddam all the mass murderers saudi kings all of these the quran says stand up against oppression these kind of people they should be executed because if they stay on the earth they'll keep on killing and raping so this is why the quran talks in a strong 
way against these tyrants, against these criminals, wherever they may be in the world, whether they are Donald Trump and his people, or they are Saudi and their people, or whether they are the people from the prisons who kill and, and rape, anyone who is evil, the, the, Quran, the Quran talks against these people. So let me just respond. So you brought up, you brought up couple of, you brought up couple of things, and then you told us Quran speaks against that. You told you told us Quran speaks against people, adults who have sex with the child, with the child. You talked about the Quran talks about the criminals. So thank you, thank you. Asif, brother. Asif, don't get involved. Same as Asif as Zoe. Listen, listen, listen. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. No, no, stop it. And this is the teachings of the Quran. We see what the teachings of the Quran. How the teachings of the Quran destroys people. And then the way we see how they engage with people. Stop it. Don't stop it! Don't treat, okay. don't treat him like that, sir. Can you apologize to him? No, he's just. Don't, do not treat, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not treat him like that. That's just, okay. That's just wrong. Okay. That's just wrong. Okay. That's just wrong. Okay. I haven't finished have my statement. I haven't you're finished my statement. So, you talked about. Which, way, which one is this? Which one can we talk to? Sir. So, we will talk to him or you? Sir. No, but you're not telling me. Did you not come? Did, Sorry, did, 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 we were did we not okay, start the conversation? Why is he talking? Why is he talking? This speaker's gone. Of course, he can speak. Okay, so, so we heckling. Yeah, you should be able to ignore that heckle. Okay, okay. So you should be okay. able to heckle. Um, you should be able to ignore the heckling. Right. So I, I hear, I heard what you said. I'm a bit disappointed since you identified yourself as a Muslim. You just proved for me. This book is a false book, why? and this book called Quran. Why? Why did I prove? How? You proved to me. Show me how. I'm going to give it. Show okay, it to you. Go. Just wait. Okay. You proved to me that Islam is a false religion, no, I and Muhammad I proved to you is the right religion, and the Prophet, prophet. Muhammad is the real Prophet. And no, but yeah. you did not. No, you Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Al-Askar. Allah Al-Askar. That's not the point. So, intentionally, he believes in Muhammad prophecy. Tell her brother. With intentionally or not intentionally, he believes in Muhammad's prophecy. With intention or not intention, you discredit your prophet. You discredit this Quran, this book. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Look, look, look here. Go go I agree please. with the Jew. Go on, listen. Abraham. I agree with the Jew. Abraham. Abraham have a child called Ishmael. And Abraham have a child called Isaac. Allah. Out of Ishmael come Muhammad. Teacher, teacher. And out of Isaac come Jacob. And out of Jacob come the twelve tribes. The tribes of Israel. So, sir, if you, if you wait a little bit, I'm gonna deal with you. Yes. yes. Christian scripture. Christian scripture tells us God of Bible is the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. And Islam, in a sense, confirms that. So, now, I am going to, I am going to deal with the question. I am going to deal with the claim that where this book is the book of peace. <laughs> sir, Are you still can you listen? What's wrong with Ishmael? Uh, sir? Don't mind you, don't mind you. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sir, please give him space. Give him space, please. So, I can see your intentions are not here to engage. I can see. I can see. I can see. Your intentions are here not to engage. Sir, this is what Islam does. Don't push it, sir. Excuse me, don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push it. Do not push it. Do not push my brothers. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. He is not. 
He is a wild donkey according to the Bible. He is a wild donkey according to the Bible. And I can show you. I can show you in the Bible. God, God himself is uh, telling about uh, Ishmael. Yeah. God himself is telling about uh, Ishmael. Oh, why not? He is a prophet. He is not, he is not only your prophet. He is not only your prophet. He is uh, my uh, uh, character as well. Your character. What character? He is my character as well. He is, uh, he is not prophet. He is not prophet. Why do you call people like that, sir? Why do you call he is Sir, it is, it is disgraceful. You have the speaker's corner and you call my Christian brother Duncan. Shame on Islam. Shame on Islam. Shame on Islam. I see Muhammad as a false prophet. I see Muhammad as a false prophet and I don't need to, I don't need to respect Muhammad. Even though you are hunting for attention, you don't get that from me. You know this, isn't it? Yeah, because I've left comments. He's the son of Abraham. Isaac is the son of Abraham. Sir, Sir, I have got no so problem. God is saying, just let me just finish with him. Let me just finish with him. God is saying, 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 According to, according to Bible, according to Bible, according to Bible, Jesus God is the himself, king of kings. God Himself said, Ishmael is the son of Abraham. Ishmael is a wild donkey. Can you give us space? Can you give us space? Of Isaac. Ishmael said, God Himself is saying. God said himself. God, sir, can you give me space, please? You give me space. I'm sending God himself. Sir, you are, you are entering Israel my space. I'm not going to come to you. You are lying. You come to me. You are just lying. Stay away from me. You are just lying. Did God bless it? You are just lying. Sir, yes, he did. It is. Did God give him a son? son? Yes, he did. But. God said he is a wild donkey. Wild he donkey. will he will act like a wild. Shut up your mouth. So, Shut up your so mouth. His follower, like that, sir. So his, his followers, they are wild people. Ishmael. They are wild people. Abraham. Like brother, Abraham. Abraham. I, I know. You are I know he's respecting Abraham. So are so are Midianite. So are Midianite. You Midianite. are disrespecting Abraham. So Midianites Abraham. are Abraham's son. Take your hand off my fucking so, so Midianites are Abraham's son. Take your hand on my face. So Midianites are Abraham's son. You so are. Why are you? Why are you saying Ishmael is the house of Abraham? Why are you, you saying Ishmael? Is no. You are so a war why, mongerer. That's why God is saying. That's why God is saying Ishmael is a wild donkey. Peace in the house of Abraham. God is saying. Peace in the house God of Abraham. God you is are a woman, girl. God is telling. Is God is the telling. Son of Abraham. But, but Isaac will be my son. But Isaac will be my son. According to Christian scripture, so God made a promise with so Abraham for Isaac. According to Bible. It is Muslims who come to speakers' corner, Islamic Dawatim, without any shame to tell us Islam is the religion of peace while here not. to invade, while here to call people donkey, disgraceful. But we know, but we know, we know why they do this. Quran identifies people of the book are the worst of creatures. It is Muhammad who destroys mankind and approaches it like this. Oh, I don't respect Muhammad. Why should I respect Muhammad? Muhammad is a false prophet.
Mohammed is the most prophet. That's all he is. Sadly, 1.84 billion Muslims are following Mohammed. I have never said anything against Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. Church. I have never said. Don't talk to my brother. Sorry, like that. sorry. This is speaker's call. Just hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. But the only person who says they call the donkey to a prophet, as a Muslim, what I want there to call a prophet is a donkey. <laughs> but your honourable friend, Bible did. says. Bible says. And nothing but a donkey. Himself. Bible says. Bible says. So Ishmael is the wild donkey. Ishmael, what is the expression? Wild donkey of the man. Expression. Yes. But he doesn't call him a donkey. No, yeah. no, no. Wild donkey of the man. And, and God, God explained, uh, explained about him. God did bless him. Yes, he did. God did give him twelve sons. And, and we don't have a problem with that. My covenant with will Isaac. be fulfilled with Isaac. on Isaac. He gave Jacob yeah. so, sons, brother, no Ishmael. Brother, just look. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Muslims get offended for the certain language Bible is using. But it is, it is the Quran who calls people of the book worst of creatures. It is the Quran tells us Christians and Jews. It is the Quran calls us apes and pigs oh, and yes, it is in the Quran it is in the Quran surah 5 this book while you make a claim it brings the peace actually we saw how Islam destroys mankind and humanity that was the examples examples give me one valid reason how is it really we just saw the examples didn't you see the examples didn't you see the examples of your brothers the way they were calling one another they was telling us the expression bible is using for the certain people there you go he's admitting to it he's like of course he is using the expression the Bible. Bible is using that God is telling. God is telling. That's all it that is. Ismail Islamic Dawah is Shame on you when you talk about the Quran and when you lie about your Quran. Read in Sorry? Really? Teach me. Please teach me. Please teach me. Why not? Not my time. You don't have. I'm not your time to teach me? Isn't it your duty to teach? Isn't it your duty to teach? What's your favorite I'll teach you. What's your favorite verse? I'll teach you Islam and then I'll teach you the Quran. Can I speak? Yeah. When you tell me your favorite verse. Can I speak? Give me your favorite verse. Can I speak? When you give me the favorite verse. I love to hear your favorite verse. Give me the favorite verse and then I'll listen to you. Can I speak? I will give you 10 minutes if you give me the favorite verse in the Quran. No, if you give me the favorite verse, I'll show respect to you. If you don't give me your favorite verse, I have no respect for you. I'm a Muslim. Give me your favorite verse. I don't want you to respect me. Give me your favorite verse. You see, you don't even have a verse in the Quran, and yet you claim to be a Muslim. What kind of Muslim are you? Where's your favorite verse? Which is your favorite? And you dare to talk to my sister like this? I know she's You dare to talk to my sister like this, and you're not ashamed? Don't even have Those who disbelieve, strike their neck. When you have inflicted so slaughter the upon them, huh? oh, then secure bonds and eat a favor afterwards or ransom until the world lays down its burden. That, And if Allah had willed, he could have taken vengeance upon them. But he ordered our struggle to test some of you by means of others and those who are killed in the cause of Allah. Never will he waste their deeds. I simply read the Quran. I simply read the Quran. I am sorry. Muslim thinks the Quran doesn't know anything. I am sorry. Muslim thinks the Quran is lacking knowledge. I am sorry. Muslims are putting their Quran under the bus. That's the surah one. Yes, I know. It's a statement.
But you see, you don't know your Quran, and when somebody comes here in love to give you evidence of your Quran and where what it's evidence? false, what that it's what false. Evidence? I know the Quran more, more than you and her put together. I asked you I know the Quran more than you and her put together. Did you teach us? Now you are you not willing to learn? You're not willing to learn. You're a hypocrite. How do you know? I'm saying you are you God? Are you God? I've got two people trying to. Are you God? We have ten people. How do you know? What is inside my heart? If you are not God.